Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. It's been a while, but I am back. Um, my name is Miss Penny. I work at uh, Four Patch at the Building Block site in Spencer, West Virginia. Thought I would come down today and do a little bit of a read, make, and do with you. Something that you can do at home. We're going to need uh, some paper and some crayons, and I'm sure everybody's got paper and crayons at the house. So before I read the book, we're going to go and do what I call a step-by-step -step drawing. So I'm going to tell you to draw different things, and you're just going to follow my directions. And the important thing to know is there is no right or wrong drawing. This is your imagination. You, this is your drawing, okay? So go get your paper, go get your crayons, and I'll be back here waiting on you when you're ready, okay? So everybody's got their paper, everybody's got their crayons, and then we'll get started. The first thing we have to do is I want you to draw a green circle in the middle of your paper. So we're just going to draw a green circle in the middle of our paper. Ooh, look at that circle. Hmm. Next you need some purple hair. Give him some purple, it doesn't matter what kind of hair you give him, just give him some purple hair. And we'll kind of color them in a little bit. All right, we'll give them a little couple right there. Now we need two little ears. Whatever color ears you want to make, I'm going to make my ears orange. On the other side. All right. Now here's the next one. It says we need one bluish greenish nose. So basically that's turquoise. But if you don't have a turquoise crayon, let's take blue. I'm going to make a little blue right there. I'll color that in and then I come behind it with my green crayon and I color on top of that and then look, I have a bluish greenish nose. Next we have to have a red mouth with sharp white teeth. You decide what it's going to be like. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to have a red mouth, and I'm going to make my teeth like this. And then you just kind of color in. Go around the teeth where we can see his teeth. Woo. And then we need two yellow eyes. Give him a yellow eye there, and a yellow eye there. Mine's going to have some eyebrows and some eyelashes. You can do whatever you want with yours. All right, and there we have a go away big green monster. And now I'll start the book. And this is called Go Away Big Green Monster. And it was written and illustrated by Ed Emberley. Let's see here. Big green monster has two big yellow eyes, a long bluish greenish nose, a big red mouth with sharp white teeth. Ooh, look at that. Two little squiggly ears, scraggly purple hair, and a big, scary, green face. But, you don't scare me, so go away, scraggly purple hair. Goodbye hair. Go away, two little squiggly ears. Goodbye ears. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. So long nose. Go away, big green face. See ya. Go away, big red mouth. Bye bye. Go away, sharp white teeth. See ya. Go away, two big yellow eyes. Go away, big green monster. 
and don't come back until I say so. The end. That was a short book. And again, that was called Go Away, Big Green Monster, and it was written and illustrated by Ed Emberly. Now we have a couple other things that we need to do that go, kind of go along with the book that we do at our class at Building Blocks. We have either a, um, it's called a would you rather question every day. And it was, would you rather have one eye in the middle of your head or would you rather have two noses? So at home, you can go around and you can ask everybody in your house. Ask your mom, ask your dad, you got brothers, sisters, your aunts over, just whoever. Ask them. Would you rather have one eye in the middle of your head or two noses? So then we go around our class and we ask. So Houston, Aiden, Clay, Gabriel, Miss Pam, and Miss Penny, we decided we wanted one eye in the middle of our head. Peyton, Eliana, Alora, and Oliver, they decided they wanted two noses. I said, no way am I going to have two noses. If something smells bad, then you're really going to smell it. So I'll take my one eye. So then after we go, and you can go around, like I said, ask your parents, ask your brothers and sisters. You can write their names down if you want. That helps you practice your writing and your spelling. Then when we're all done, we have to go and we have to count them. So, let's count how many people wanted one eye in the middle of their head. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people wanted one eye in the middle of their head. Okay? Now let's count the noses. One, two, three, four. Four people wanted two noses. All right. So then the next part of this is I always ask someone, looking at our two lists, which one has the most? Is it one eye in the middle of your head or was it the two noses? You want to guess? Ah, it was the one eye in the middle of your head. It had the most. So the big number is first. In my class of building blocks, we're learning more than, less than, and equal to by an alligator. If the alligator's mouth, it's open, it's going to point to the big number because he's hungry and wants to fill his belly. And he's going to fill his belly by eating the big numbers. So, is the big number first or is the big number second? Oh, the big number's first. So we draw our alligator mouth. Give two eyes. And we have to give him some sharp teeth to eat that number six. All right, there we go. And then we all say it together as a class. Six is greater than four. So, whew, imagine all that stuff we got done there, guys. We did spelling, we did writing, we were counting, we were comparing, we were reading. Oh, man, we did so much stuff today, but we're not done yet. I have another project that you can make and do, okay? It is a game. We're going to, you're going to draw some monster feet. So here you need to ask your mom and dad for some paper, if you got some paper. It could be your school paper. It could be plain white paper. doesn't matter. And you're going to make some monster feet. You can make your monster feet look however you want. You want to make sure your monster feet's got some toes. So after everybody, you've got your monster feet made. doesn't matter how many you make. Then from there, we're going to take them over to the floor, and we're going to tape them to the floor in different directions. And I have a volunteer, Mr. Kale, is going to help us with this. So you see that you've got your feet on the floor, and the toes are pointing in different directions. So what Mr. Kale's going to do is he's going to stand on the first one, and his toes are pointing in the same direction as the monster feet. And he's going to look at them, and he is going to jump in the direction of where the toes are pointing. Are you ready, Kale? All right, go. Oh, he made it. Oh, he's got a twist. Oh, and Kale did it. Good job for Kale. And 
boys and girls, that was basically it. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of read making do with lots of math, lots of writing, lots of ways of being creative. And I guess I'm done here. So I will see you next time. Again, this was Miss Penny with Patch and Building Blocks at Penny's Reading Nook. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.